Welcome back to Questions from Quarantine. As I mentioned in our last episode, we're doing something a little different this time where we are having each mom take off her expert hat for an episode and respond as how she is feeling about school reopening. But first, we'll go to security mom, Juliet Kayam, on her opinion as an expert on schools reopening. Juliet? Yeah, so it's um, it's uh, obviously at the moment, we've all been talking about the, you know, depending on if you're in the South or New England or New York, which is delayed its opening, um, are we going back to school? and how are we going back to school and what does that mean? Um, so overall, there's no single answer, as, as everyone has made abundantly clear. There's not one size fits all. Some jurisdictions are ready to go. I think Massachusetts, just given its numbers, there are going to be districts that are able to go in some fashion, perhaps hybrid, but to get uh, kids together again. Rhode Island is aggressively pushing New York. We'll see if that happens, but New York State is certainly, um, and even in the colleges and universities, you hear all these horror stories, but if you look underneath those headlines, there's actually stories of schools able to open up. It's dependent on a lot of things, testing, 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 that you actually know what the pool looks like. So where there's a failure of testing, we're going to have uh, real problems. It required, and I think this is where um, you know, we may have run out of runway, that the clock just may have caught up with us. You know, stakeholder engagement, do teachers and parents and kids um, feel invested in what the school's decisions are? So some of the debates that you're seeing in New York City now are just, a, I think, a mayor and a program that sort of went forward and you just have teachers very, very concerned about their own health and their own well-being. And then it's going to just, you know, just require a lot of pivoting and flexibility about you know, from what school was to what it is. And this is, I think, one of the challenges in explaining to kids, a minor older, but even uh, younger kids, that this idea of, you know, 2019 as being the metric is just not it. And this is, this is probably going to be true through much of 2021 as well, as we sort of, you know, get a, get a handle on this, certainly, I think, through the spring term. So that's the debates that you're seeing. I think most urban school districts are going virtual. Uh, maybe some suburban private schools are not. Um, you're gonna, we're going to learn a lot. Other countries have done it, some successfully, not, some not so. And it's going to just require a lot of personal hygiene, masking, um, transparency, stakeholder engagement, and a lot of pivoting uh, in the months ahead. Margaret is a doctor, a researcher, and also a mother of four girls. Margaret, tell us how you're doing as a parent these days. Yeah, so as uh, Juliet was kind of giving her two cents on this, I just couldn't help but feel, you know, incredibly emotional just because, yeah, I think the dominant, the dominant feeling here is, is rage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know what to, you know, I, I'm so, so, so angry uh, that we have dilly-dallied and we've played with our children's lives like this. I just feel, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm a big fan of zombie movies. I don't know if I've told you this, but no. the reason I'm not, oh yeah, I'm a big fan of zombie movies because the zombie movie uh, theme is... Uh, is, you know, the zombies aren't really what's scary. What's scary is what we do to each other uh, to protect ourselves from zombies. Oh. Uh, and that's all, and that's, I think, a very sort of profound, like that truly is the horror of it. And, you know, I was, <laughs> I don't know where I said this, but I was like, you know, that for me is, is the horror of this pandemic as well, because it's not the pandemic that's scary. It, it's not really COVID that's scary. We, we can cope with it. It's, it's what we have uh, failed to do and how we've treated each other uh, and the systems that we put in place, what we're asking people to do and the planks that we're asking people to walk off uh, is so, so so upsetting and 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 what i mean by that is you know i'm aware i can cope our family can cope we have some resources we can sit here we can deal um we're gonna start virtual all my four kids are they upset do they get upset that they can't go and see their friends absolutely you know etc but we can deal but oh my god i mean there are lots and lots and lots of people that cannot deal we are tightening a vice around so many families putting them in such an untenable position with no resources. And that that really is, you know, uh, very, very depressing and upsetting. Um, so anyway, that, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm upset. Are we going to cope? Yes. Um, are, uh, the kids are going to uh, start virtual. We hope that in six weeks or so, we'll be able to send them at least through some partially to in-person school once we have ventilation and air filtration uh, set up. And I think the teachers unions also need to be reassured that there's some protections for their teachers. Um, and you know, it's, it's about trying to be a good citizen in this moment. But, um, but yeah, I, I'm really, really angry 
And, uh, you know, my other hat that I wore for a long time was in child development. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the, the violence that's being done to children by making them not be able to socialize and not be able to be educated uh, in, in the way they should be is, is tremendous, um, I, I, unprecedented. So, so um, you know, that, that's where my head's at. I do have to say we got, um, we got a rescue dog, a rescue puppy uh, yesterday. Uh, so very sweet. Um, so, you know, the kids are, the kids are, you know, have some companion, extra companionship. Um, so it adds the good insanity to our lives at this moment. But anyway, that's where I'm at. Yeah, that is the dominant feeling is rage. It's, just, it's <laughs> You yeah, know, when I ever, write a book yeah. about this era, it's going to yeah. be entitled. It's going to be entitled "The Year the Women Said." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do think. I do think, and, and I know your husband is wonderful. My husband is wonderful. So there's no yeah. good way to say this uh, without sounding like they're not wonderful. But if this does <laughs> not, if this does not begin a third wave of feminism related to the working mother, um, and uh, uh, I don't know what will. Um, yeah, exactly. We both, as you said, we both can deal, right? We have families right. that can deal and husbands that can deal, but. Um, uh, and I should be grateful David doesn't watch this. Love you, honey. <laughs> this has been Questions from Quarantine. We're all in it together. We're thinking of you. We'll see you next week. Please feel free to hashtag Questions from Quarantine for your chance to be answered next right. week.